right, so we're gonna be pulling the foil pack brackets and the valve covers. You can see I already came over here and I already pulled this coil pack uh, bracket. I'm about to pull the valve cover, get that cleaned up. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to film this because I don't really have a good place to do it and I don't have another set of hands, but um, as you can see over here, this is the first one that we got painted. Um, I'm gonna put this back together. I would love to powder coat them, um, but powder coat's expensive and I'm just gonna see if I like this on the car. I just used this Rust-Oleum uh, burgundy color. So we'll see how it turns out. So when we go to pull it, it'll be one, two, three back here uh, to hold the coil pack bracket to the valve cover. And then each one of these coil packs has to, they're all 10 millimeter. All the bolts are out there's a clip here and there's one like right in here um, it's just like this one just pop the top and the bottom out and then I'll unplug this and uh, I'll be able to wiggle this out <music> So second bracket's out. I'll go uh, wash this up and then I'll start to pull the valve covers. Okay, so we're ready to pull the valve covers. It looks like it's just gonna be um, four of these little bolts on each side. They're gonna be eight millimeters. covers are off. Um, I'm going to paint them the same color red, that burgundy color. The coil packs are starting to darken up a little bit, um, which I do like. Um, I wanted it to be just a little bit darker, but it works. Um, I'm just going to clean these just like I did the coil pack covers or the brackets here. It's just going to be Dawn dish soap and a scrub brush. Um, I ended up peeling the gaskets out um, so that way I don't pull any of the oils out of those, um, but I'm going to get these cleaned up. We'll probably take this whole thing outside, hit it all again, and uh, let it dry before we put it back together tonight. So I think it looks great. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I ended up painting all the bolts black. Um, we'll see how long it lasts. But uh, from here, it looks great. Um, I'm very happy with it. So maybe we'll look at in the future doing some powder coat um, in this color. Um, this is just a rattle can burgundy. I would love to do like a black cherry, something super dark. But I'm thrilled with it for a $5 can of spray paint in you know, an hour worth of time. I'm very happy with it. So I'll just give you a sneak peek for the next video, but I'm just waiting on a couple other things, but the wheels and tires for the backside are here. Um, I'm just waiting on the caliper brackets and lug nuts. Um, hopefully those will be in the mail by the time I put this video up. And then uh, I need a new set of rotors because these are 15s and what's on the car is 17s. So, Look forward to this. This will probably be the next video. Um, no sense in throwing power at it. If it spins on the freeway, spins on the side streets. So 
Um, hopefully our local tracks opening back up soon so we can go get some numbers on the car. Um, I've been talking to another dyno place this year who seems like they're gonna be easy to work with. So hopefully we can get power numbers as well. But that'll pretty much wrap up this video. Thank you.